Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim Labuda here once again. And today we're gonna take a look at the golf swing of your second round leader of this year's 2023 Masters Tournament, Brooks Kepka. Now, Brooks left the PGA Tour. He went off to join the Live Tour. He won last week at the Live event in Orange County National. Hasn't been playing his best, but right now he's got a three shot lead in the second round of the Masters. Let's see what Brooks does in his golf swing that makes him very consistent right now. And I'm gonna give you one key and one tip that you're gonna to wanna to focus on in your swing that's gonna help your consistency. So we've got a red line here that's drawn on his tush for his tush line. We talk about that a lot. I've also got a red line here for his spine angle, but I'm gonna draw another red line here just at his trail shoulder. So we're gonna talk about that in a second. But as he starts moving away from the golf ball, you're going to see his takeaway, very, very upper body oriented. Club gets parallel to the ground. You can see the club head is definitely outside of his hands. Uh, face angle of that golf club is definitely parallel with his spine. Really, really good position. But again, you're going to notice how much his upper body has rotated. Lower body has stayed very, very still. So he's creating a lot of separation between his upper and his lower body. It's going to create a lot of speed and power in his golf swing. As he gets to the top of his swing, what we're going to notice here are two things. Number one, he has not moved off of that tush line, so the red line and back. He's really loaded up his right side properly. But you're also going to notice that his spine angle has not changed a lot. So he's been able to maintain that spine angle in his swing along with maintain that tush line. But guys, I'm going to tell you, this is going to be the key to Brooks's consistency, and it's something most amateur players struggle with. As he starts down in his downswing, we're going to get into his impact position, and I want you to notice the line where his trail shoulder was, and look at what happens. As he gets into impact, I'm going to put a little circle around this here. You can see that that trail shoulder gets back to exactly where it was at setup. Too many times what we find is at the top of the swing, Amateur players are pushing the club, pushing their right shoulder out and really rotating hard. So what happens at that point is the club shaft starts getting a little too steep. We get into a position like here and we all know that a steep shaft in the downswing could cause you to pop the ball up. It cause you also cause you to cut across the ball and slice it. So let me get rid of some of these lines here and I'm going to go back to the very beginning and we're going to put a line again on Brooks's trail shoulder. And I just want to go through this swing as we go to the top of his swing, come back down and look at that. Look how that trail shoulder, again, gets right back to where it started. So if you guys look at yourself or look at your golf swing on a camera, if you film your swing, take note of what's happening with that trail shoulder. Let's try to get that trail shoulder back into the original setup position where it was. Don't try to push with the right shoulder so much, really spinning those shoulders and getting that shaft steep. Let's work the lead side, start the downswing with the left side of the body or the lead side. Let that transition down to your downswing, let the lower body start the downswing, and then let your shoulders basically get back to a square position at impact. This is gonna help your consistency, it's gonna help you shallow out the golf club a little bit easier, and you're gonna be a much more consistent golfer in the future by doing this.